This might be a bad idea, but I'm trying to I'm gonna try to pull up the anchor and sail over to Long Island today. Uh, it's about 20 knots of wind and it's, it's feeling pretty good. Um, I think it's probably gonna be kind of rough out there, but I just really don't want to get going. There's not really much to do for me here. Just hopefully I don't regret it. It could be pretty rough out there. Anchors are up. We got the third reef in. Oh, we're taking a pounding. Let's take a look. out there. Uh, looks like I might need to um, divert to Black Island. I'm not really looking forward to it. I didn't really care for that that much last time, but I'm just not going to be able to make any progress now that the wind is uh, so, and the, wave, the waves are just super steep. You're just like pitching up and down, dolphining kind of, not really going forward anymore. What a difference 20 degrees makes. Now it's just like easy sailing. I could I could sail like this across the ocean. It's perfectly comfortable. I'm trying to go 20 degrees more into the wind, and it is just brutal. So it looks like I'm gonna have to wait a couple days here for a better forecast. Um, and I might be stuck on the boat too if it's windy this whole time. There's a chance if I get up at like 4 a.m. I could maybe uh, make, make another make a run for it towards uh, Long Island. We'll see. It's gonna be really cold. I'm trying to warm myself up. Okay. Let her down. Okay. It's only like 500 feet to those rocks over there. Gosh, it's gonna be so damn cold though. Alright, I can do this. Oh! 
Oh man, that's cold. All right, I made it ashore. Where's my boat? Oh, it's right over there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. A little bit of vodka helped make it easier. That was, uh, I don't know, the corner that I thought it would. But I'm not freezing now. Uh, my jacket on. Find some way to walk around for a little bit. I forgot my wallet and mask, so kind of limits my options. This is like the horseshoe crab graveyard. I had to do that cold water swim um, as my punishment for, for uh, throwing in the towel on my sail to Long Island. The pickle herring could have, could have handled beating into the wind for another 10 hours, but I don't know, I just don't think I'd wait for better wind. I hope I'm not stuck here for too long. I just uh, weighed anchor. That, that wet chain is really cold on your hands in the morning. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it to Long Island, but I'm gonna make an attempt. Looks like I've got a couple hours before the uh, wind gets turns even more against me and stronger. Um, maybe I can motor sail on my way there. Looks like the wind shifted uh, it's a little bit more favorably, a little light, but I'm, I imagine it's still gonna be pretty choppy out there. So we are we are motoring out of the, out of uh, the channel now. Um, I got asked the other day why I was spending so much time beating into the wind, and I should have just turned on the motor because I was being stupid trying to save fuel. And um, the answer is that is I just can't motor into the wind. Uh, this is a sailboat, so it only has a a small auxiliary motor, and um, it can motor you around when it's when it's calm or the wind isn't too strong, but if you're going into 20 knots of wind with the associated sea state, you would just be going going nowhere. And it's actually much more faster to, to just uh, sail into it. So right now we've got like 15 to 17 knots of wind and I mean, we're kind of out of a channel. The waves aren't even that big, and we're just hoppy horsing all over the place. And I'm going at about one knot. So, I mean, to do a passage that way, it's just. I mean, I'm, maybe you could do it, but uh, once the waves get really big, you're just not going to go anywhere, and it would just be miserable. Um, having the sails up kind of dampens the motions of the boat. Uh, you can motor sail and get a little bit more headway sometimes, but. At a certain point, it just doesn't do anything for you. And now I have to worry about, you know, getting the prop caught in uh, all these lobster and crab traps and stuff. Making great progress today. What a contrast from yesterday. It's just great sailing conditions now. A little bit of leftover sea state, but it's, no, it's nowhere near as bad as yesterday. And we're going on a, a nice beam reach straight towards Long Island. Uh, we might end up stopping in Montauk if the wind, you know, dies on us or goes against us. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna try to make it a little further. Um, someone offered me a, a little uh, little outboard for the for the um, for the inflatable dinghy. And uh, my three horsepower gas motor is just a little bit too much for that for that little boat. Like anything above, a little bit above idle speed, just like it starts to bend the motor mount and that doesn't really go any faster. Back while I was in Portland, I had Jasmine take me to Walmart and I picked up these uh, rubber boots. I can't believe I went this long without uh, rubber boots for sailing. Man, it's so nice like uh, when the cockpit's, you know, full of water or just like going up on deck uh, to not get my feet all wet. Um, usually I just like to go barefoot or, or wear sandals or something. Um, but uh, now that it's cooling off, some boots, glad to have. Also, when I go to the dinghy, 
Um, if I'm like getting out on the beach, I can I can don't even get my feet wet when I have to step in the water. Um, I just feel like an idiot for not getting these these uh, earlier. And I would I really even would have liked to have them when I sailed to Hawaii, um, even though it was a little bit warmer um, than it is here. It's still it's, the Pacific is still pretty cold, um, and uh, it was just kind of like you know standing in in water the, all, the whole time was uh, I mean not whole time but you know for a few days it was kind of miserable. We're about three hours in. The wind just uh, just about died, so I'm motoring because uh, in a few hours this afternoon, this evening, uh, they're supposed to get to maybe gale force winds again. Um, so I want to get in as quick as I can before, so I don't have to spend too much time in that. We are passing Montauk now, and I'm aiming for Shelter Island. That is the goal. picked up. We're booking. We're almost there. I just got in touch with my uh, contact rod and um, he says I can stay at a slip, which would be rad. Um, I haven't got to stay at a slip in a while. Um, it sounds like it's going to be pretty tight getting in there, but I'm not afraid. Now let's get my dock lines and fenders out and it should be a good night. Yeah, cruising. Those things. Yacht club. Yes, the yachting club. These are etchels? Yeah. There are no bridges to get to this island, only ferry access. Alright, so my my new friend on Shelter Island set me up with the slip for the next uh for the, for tonight and um I might stay here tomorrow night too. He also I just got a this little electric. All right, he set me up with this nice little trolling motor so I can use, have electric power for my dinghy. That'll be a lot more practical than this um, gas motor. And I'm really excited about this. I got a new um, VHF radio with AIS. AIS is a screen and it will show you if there's ships that are around you that transmit the AIS so you can help to not run into them. And um, this one only has the receiver so it doesn't transmit your position, but at least you can see where the big ships that have transmitters are and it would make me, you know, a little bit more comfortable when I'm sleeping, so if I know a ship's gonna hit me, I think you can set alarms and stuff. I'll have to read the manual and figure out. But I may have really lucked out because I was gonna go install this, and it looks like these are both um, standard Horizon branded radios. 
that is my old one and it uses the exact same uh like power connectors so i think i can just i just unplug this i plug this one back in and then i hook up it looks like it just i need only need one antenna connection and it switches between them um ais is, uses a vhf signal and i don't need any of these i think that's maybe for like a gps signal for the chart plotter or something but this radio um it has like this nice handheld thing that lets you change the channel and talk and everything in the cockpit um and then i can keep this mounted in here and it looks like that's going to use the same uh connector so i just can i can still use my my handheld so i'm just gonna mount this guy up and try it out we'll see how it works so you can see ais there it's acquiring our position and oh we can see the other ships here um let's see it's 10 mile range let's change it to five That's cool. We missed them. Well, I can scroll through all the ships. Let's pick one. Let's try Larissa. And see how fast it's going and how far it is. It's not moving. Cool. So I'm making some chicken and um, put this in Trader Joe's Indian food stuff in there. See how that tastes. It smells pretty good. And look, I even got a hose. I can hose off the boat. You haven't been clean in a while, Pickle. You're a dirty girl. I'm gonna go for a run. It seems like there's some nice trails here. It feels pretty good to uh, move my legs after being on the boat for so long. I really like that Mashamuk Preserve, that was a good place to run. Now I'm gonna get the uh, folding bike out. Uh, this, this, this drive bag I made has been working really good. It hasn't uh, got any more rusty or anything since I built that. All right, I'm gonna take the ferry across to Greenport. Oysters, and because I'm, I'm an oyster kind of sewer now with my oyster farming experience, uh, these you can see they're different from a different farm than these two. But I think they tasted about the same. We're exploring Greenport. All right, I'm back at the nature preserve for one more quick morning run before I head back out to sea. I just reprovisioned and I took all my meat out of these, I don't like these styrofoam things because I can't throw them overboard because it's plastic and styrofoam, but it, and they smell up my trash. Um, <clears throat> so I put the meat in the Ziploc bags and I'll just throw these away at shore because I can just close these and they won't smell up the garbage. The next provisioning tip, order a pizza, get a pizza for the first couple of days. And I'm trying not to fill my tanks up too full because they tend to leak if I do. I gotta figure, fix that later. Thanks for watching. In my next video, we sailed through the, down through the Long Island Sound into New York. And if you thought uh, this passage was a little rough, wait till you see that one. That one was pretty miserable. Uh, but I'm really glad I went through uh, the East River. It was a really cool experience. I really liked that. Starting this week, we're gonna move to a more consistent posting schedule. I'm gonna have a new video every Sunday and Wednesday. If you think you get something out of having more consistent videos, uh, think about supporting the channel. We got uh, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon wishlist, you know, whatever works for you. Those links are in the description. If not, no worries. Just wanted to thank everybody who's for the channel already, um, who watches the video, subscribes. It's really what allows me to do it full time now, uh, making these passages and refit videos a reality. Um, and about the refit videos, they will be coming up. I think there's probably about three more sailing videos and then we move into uh, some boat work 
and uh, that will be all leading up to the big Atlantic crossing in a few more months. I'll see you guys next time.